Hey, I'm Sierra. Welcome to my Beauty and Lifestyle channel. Today's video is going to be my updated wash day routine for relaxed hair for fall and winter. If you're interested, stay tuned. So when I really want to pamper and luxuriate my hair, I start with a pre-poo. And today's pre-poo, I'm gonna start with coconut oil. I love coconut oil because it has so many good properties. It's rich in antioxidants. It's got antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial properties. And it's growth enhancing because its molecular structure actually allows it to penetrate the hair shaft deeper than most oils so that's why shine moisture and repair are some of the best qualities of it and its richness in fatty acids aids the hormones in your body cells that contribute to hair growth I pretty much use whatever conditioner I have lying around for my pre poo today I'm using ores also I'm using this argan oil of Morocco hydrating conditioning treatment that I picked up from Ulta but you can use whatever you want so all I do is gather all the ingredients into a cup or a bowl. So the conditioner, the coconut oil, um, any other conditioner you wanna add. And one thing that I do is actually heat it up. This is my hair hack uh, to help it penetrate the hair shaft deeper. We all know that heat really helps us. I pop it in the microwave for about a minute or less and it's hot enough to apply to my hair to where it'll penetrate deeply without me having to sit under the hair dryer for half an hour. So at this point, all I do is just detangle my hair and comb it out to apply the pre-poo straight from the microwave so that it's hot and that it's really penetrating my strands and luxuriating my hair. So as you can see, I'm really just gonna apply it all around. I like to start at the ends and work my way up. Uh, the ends are really, really important for me to get, especially since I recently cut my hair. I'm really trying to baby my ends and just keep them thick and luscious. So I am heavy handed a little bit, but I just try and make sure that I'm getting every strand of hair especially my ends and even a little bit of my scalp i just want to make sure that all my hair is getting the attention it needs and this is going to help keep it from uh, you know getting stripped of moisture once i do put the shampoo in it's going to help to keep it from drying out it's going to help keep it moisturized and it's just going to give it a little extra boost and an extra little bit of conditioning before i even start washing my hair so once I finished applying the pre-poo, I'm just gonna pull it up into a bun and do household chores or check emails or just things I need to do around the house and I'll let that sit for about 30 minutes and if I really have time, I'll let it sit for an hour. The shampoo I'm using in today's video is from The Main Choice. It's the Detangling Hydration Shampoo. It's for natural growth and retention. And I really like this shampoo because it's not stripping, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to start rinsing out that pre-poo and apply the shampoo and wash everything out of my hair. It is so, so important to maintain good hair health by washing your hair and keeping your scalp clean. I know that shampooing gets a bad rap in the hair community, but if you take care of it properly before and after, it won't keep your hair dry and strip it. It actually helps to fight against bacteria that can hinder growth, and it's just good for keeping your scalp clean, healthy, and allowing it to grow at its best. Also, if you're like me, I get buildup really easily, so I like washing my hair at least every two weeks preferably once a week, just to eliminate all the buildup and the dirt. I find that my hair, when it's cleaner, actually retains moisture better because it's not holding on to a bunch of products already, so the hair shaft is able to open up and absorb more of the vitamins and nutrients from the products that I use. I'll use a sulfate shampoo when I feel like I really need to clarify my hair or I'll use one that doesn't have sulfate like the one I'm using in this video sometimes just if I feel like um, I just want to leave a little bit of extra moisture into my hair. 
Next, I'm going to be doing a protein treatment. I'm using the Apogee two-step protein treatment and this is just to help strengthen the bonds of my hair. I try to do this once a month or whenever I'm going to apply heat to my hair uh, so that it keeps my hair from getting super damaged and breaking off. So I like this one because you don't have to sit under the dryer, you just apply the first step and you let it sit there for five minutes so all I'm doing right now is just applying that all over my head as you can see it's kind of a gel like consistency and so you do have to be careful it can get messy but it's a lot easier than some of the other protein treatment products that I have tried so it's a little slimy um, but I'm gonna put it all over my head and then when I'm done I'm gonna apply a plastic shower cap let it sit for five minutes and and then apply step two, which is the moisturizer. Let that sit for a minute or two, and then I'm going to be rinsing that out as well. And I just let it air dry a little bit. It's super, super important to follow up any protein treatment with moisture, and that's just because the protein is just gonna make your hair a little stiff, and if you manipulate it too much, it can cause breakage or make it weak. So you just wanna make sure that you're bringing the pH back down to a balance where it's maintaining its elasticity and its moisture. So after I've applied that moisturizer, you can see my hair is really soft and a little bit shiny and it's looking a little bit even more healthier. So I really like this protein treatment. I'll link it below if you guys wanna try it out. It's not sponsored, it's just what I have been using for years and I really like, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Hairs actually compose of approximately 91% protein made up of long chains of amino acids. As the cells in your hair mature, they fill up with a fibrous protein called keratin. Keratin is what's found in here um, that's an insoluble protein and it's called hard keratin because it doesn't dissolve in water and it's very resilient. So since your hair is predominantly structured of protein, it makes sense that if your hair became protein deficient at any point, uh, you would want to put protein back into it to help remedy the problem. When you apply a protein treatment to your hair after washing it, the heat um, that you use then swells the hair follicles open. And at that time, the protein molecules can bond with the hair shaft to strengthen it. And this is especially important if you have relaxed hair because when you relax your hair, it breaks down the bonds of your hair. So doing protein treatments routinely will help to build it back up. So after I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my deep conditioner. I like to mix my conditioners. I'm going to be using the main choice green tea and carrot conditioner as well as the Ion Moisture Solutions Moisture Deep Conditioner. So again, like you want to make sure you're using a moisture conditioner after you apply protein because it's going to rebalance the pH levels as well as enhance elasticity and impart that moisture back into your hair which will enhance growth. So I do the same thing by combining whatever deep conditioners I'm using and I heat them up in the microwave to get them hot enough to open my hair shaft and I'm just going to start applying it all over my head. I go through literally strand by strand, section by section. Like I said, I am heavy handed, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And one reason I don't let my hair completely dry before putting in my deep conditioner is because moist heat is the best heat for your hair. It's the best heat you can use with deep conditioners. So if your hair's really dry and it's prone to damage, using moist heat can bring relief. I know some people will use a steamer to impart um, moist heat on their hair when deep conditioning and that's an even better idea. So if you don't have a steamer, you can use my hair hack. When your hair is wet, just add hot conditioner to it. Or if you have the money, you can invest in a steamer. I'll link one below that would work good for this purpose. <music>
at this point I'm going to put on a plastic cap and sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes just to allow the product to soak in and to penetrate my hair shaft. When I'm done, I'm going to hop back in the shower and rinse everything out. As you can see, it definitely leaves my hair shiny and I can just feel how much moisture it's retained. It also feels stronger, but not in a dry, brittle way. It still has maintained its elasticity in the health of my hair. And I really do think this is what contributes to my hair growth as a relaxed person. When I rinse out the conditioner, then I will go into a protective style. A lot of times I'll do a bun or I'll do a low bun or low ponytail. And then maybe once a month or every other month, I will straighten it. So that's everything for my updated wash day routine for my relaxed hair. I hope it was very helpful. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can receive all my future videos. Hit the notification button so you get notified of my new uploads. Follow me on social media and I will see you in my next video.